We are in the planetarium here at the Science Center. Inside the Eugene Science Center. What's not exciting? A preview of Saturday morning's solar eclipse. So you can see as we get closer to 918, the moon is very ever so slightly going in front of the sun. While it's interesting to see it from these seats, watching the eclipse on the lawn outside will make for a much more fascinating show. Looking through a telescope at the sun and seeing it yourself is just totally mind blowing. Something unique that we haven't seen in a while here. That is if we can see it. I hope it is um, clearer, if not completely clear, uh, but even a little bit of breakage in the clouds should be able to allow us to see the sun coming over the trees. Peter Kukla with the Science Center says he's preparing for a couple hundred, not quite the crowd other parts of Oregon saw back in 2017 during the total solar eclipse. The birds started singing, the, you know, it was just like dusk. Saturday's is an annular solar eclipse. In the path of annularity, expect to see a ring of fire. I'm really excited. I, I understand why people travel around and follow these eclipses because it was very cool. Although not as rare as the total eclipse she saw a few years back, Kayleen Reeve, who traveled here from Iowa, believes the chance to see this eclipse is well worth the trip. My stepdaughter lives up in Portland. I always come and visit them and I found out there was an eclipse and Eugene was one of the spots so I arranged my trip so I was here for three days in okay. October to see the eclipse. And again, we haven't seen um, too much more traffic, too many more people flooding into this part of Oregon for the eclipse, although I cannot speak for other parts of the state where conditions are a little more favorable to our east and to our south. Now, uh, the silver lining here, though, you're probably not going to have to fight crowds in Eugene to watch the eclipse tomorrow. Brittany? <laughs> Good news there, right? <laughs> gotta, gotta find that silver lining, even if you can't see the ring of fire. All right, thanks so much, Alma. And hey, if you can't be in a spot to see the full eclipse, you can watch it live on KGW.com or your KGW Plus app. We'll have live reports throughout KGW News at sunrise tomorrow morning, then a live stream of the eclipse starting just before nine. I do have some friends that are 